Again, that's what you're going to back to a new Phineas and Ferb episode review. And if you saw this one, go and check it out. And this is another good episode. And it starts with Candace calling Stacy and working on her Jeremy scrapbook. And about our Buford is complaining that he's got peanut butter all over his chocolate bar. Which Phineas is not wrong saying that peanut butter and chocolate would go good together. I mean, that's what Reese's cups are. But of course, Buford doesn't want to taste two things at the same time, and they use this separation or this, yeah, separation splitting anator or not anator, but methane that they made, and it divides the two together. Which yeah, I'm sure a lot of people would want something like this, and Candace is trying to carry it, but accidentally turns it on, and it splits her in two. One of them is about busting. And one of them's assessed with Jeremy. I mean, that's that's her by herself, right? That's her by herself, but splitting her into two. And Perry gets to Doofenshmirtz, which is at this pool, and saying that going doing a backstory where he where his dad saying, "Are you a man or a schnitzel?" And yeah, he just is afraid of the high of the diving board, and everybody's just laughing, saying that he's a schnitzel, and Doofenshmirtz's dad saying that he has no son, and just high having bags over their heads, which Doofenshmirtz has quite a sad, interesting past, though, when it comes to his backstories, and he's made this ray, this anator that will make people look the other way, and yeah, of course he traps Perry. And we see the other Candace making her whole room of Jeremy. Again, even though they're split, the I mean, Candace is still has an, having an, you know, by her when she's by herself, one person she's obsessed with Jeremy, and Candace is trying to tell her mom about how Phineas and Ferb split her into two, and Phineas and Ferb find out of what happened and they, they're gonna have to sort them out and we get the song as well which is it's a good another good song and the obsessing Candace goes to their mom and then the actual Candace goes to ma her mom wondering where the other Candace went and this dude is this boy is telling just Doofenshmirtz, just trying to get Doofenshmirtz to jump, or to go up there, and, yeah, Candace is telling Jeremy of where the other Candace is, the one is like, it's Jeremy, 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 blah, 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 even though Jeremy says, but that is, trying to say that is Candace, which, again, that is Candace by herself, you know, being obsessive, absolutely obsessive over Jeremy and the other Candace comes and he says that still he'll come over later that day well after his working and yeah Phineas and Ferb come over to Jeremy saying where the other Candaces went and yeah Dupin Sparks gets up on the diving board and yeah of course he's scared which Candace tries to so her mom the other Candace, but of course, they disappears and seeing four Candaces. And then, Cand or their mom is about to head out, and the other Candace drives home with her. Well, Phineas and Ferb are saying to go and get ready. And this is one of my favorite parts. And Candace comes over saying, Have you seen the other Candace? And they say that she's riding with mom. And then Candace just makes this weird face and this screeching sound, too. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of the series. And then we just see Candace just chasing off through the other Candace and just getting hit in the back of the car. And yeah, them just, or Doofin Smirch just turning on the anator and being called Watch Out Snitzel. And yeah, Ferb pretending to be Jeremy just to get the other Candace to go come outside. And yeah, the anator gets turned on and Everybody's looking the other direction and accidentally splits Candace into way lots of Candaces. And then, yeah, even the Anator even affects Doofenshmirtz, which he falls and lands straight 
front. Like, ouch. That has to sting, though. And, yeah, of course, he, he of course he had to build the innator too close to the pole where it would get splashed on. Which, yeah, it gets ruined. And Doofensmirtz admits that he's a snizzle, that he can't swim. I mean, I'm 20 and I can't swim, and I will admit that. And, yeah, Perry actually saves Doofensmirtz by br tossing him a life preserver. And, of course, their mom says that, yeah, there's just one Candace, and she's like, never mind. And the Massane goes over to Monogram and splits him into two. And Jeremy says the f picture frame that Candace bought her, which or bought him that Phineas and Ferb got a camera and tell him are taking their picture, and I just love the picture that turns out. Like, what are those faces? <laughs> those faces, though. Yeah, I'd like to know what y'all think. Let me know across this book. Catch the next one.